Good morning and welcome at Port Lethen Church uh, this uh, Sunday morning, 22nd of March, 10.30. It's the first Sunday of Lent and the psalm of the day is Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long. Amen. Alleluia. Peace be with you, says Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ is present among us. Thank you for giving others the gift of your presence. And let us worship God together. Let us start by singing the Lord my shepherd. in the community that is called Coronavirus Community Care and uh, the base is at the Jubilee Hall. The Jubilee Hall is the place where people can drop off and come and give food and different items and people in need can also come to collect things that they need. And uh, so there's an organization with uh, zone leaders and community helpers Maybe you will have received this card in your uh, post box. So in this card, there's the name of a helper and uh, their phone number and their email address. And at the back of the card, there's also a mobile number. That's the number of the Jubilee Hall. And uh, there you can reach someone who can bring help. So that's something that has been created very quickly in Port Lethen. And that's already already efficient, so don't hesitate to 
to call at these numbers, particularly if you've got neighbors in need. So no other news for now. All the services in Port Lathan Church are cancelled until further notice. Uh, don't forget to do your offering to the church uh, during this time of crisis. The church still needs money, particularly uh, the weak parishes of uh, our national uh, organization. So let's pray for this offering. This offering now we give into your hands, Lord, for all gifts find their source in you. And with this gift of money, take our lives, that they may be a blessing for you too. Amen. And I will now share a prayer that has been written by the moderator of uh, our presbytery. Gracious Heavenly Father, it is right that in every season of our lives and of our circumstances, we come to you and share our joys, our sorrows, our appreciations of life and relationship, our worries and our fears. So we praise you as Lord of all that is. You are the creator of all the beauty that so captures our hearts, whether in nature's many moods and displays whether by art, music, literature, or the ways of love in family and community. You are the giver of blessings that enrich and bring coolness to our beings. You are the bringer of comfort to anxious hearts. You are the one who dispels guilt and unworthiness and fear of judgment with your all-encompassing grace. You have entered our frail and vulnerable humanity as Jesus Christ. You engage with us in our journey today through your Holy Spirit. You lift our gaze in hope. You strengthen our resolve in faith. You increase our capacity to serve in love. So we pray now, make your presence felt anew in the midst of our unease our fracturing calm exteriors, our sense of confusion, our missed and shrouded view of how things may be. Give us clarity in planning, fresh energy for tasks which this ill season brings us, and wisdom for charting passage through waters made turbulent by each new wave of the virus spreading. May the path we trade make the way more sure for those who follow us. May all our relationships be seasoned by your grace. May our health and well-being, as that of our loved ones, be guarded by you. May our recovery and that of our church, our society, our nation, our world, be all the stronger and all the fitter through having been challenged by these times. These things we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. And now I would like to share with you the reading of a passage in the Gospel according to John. That's John chapter 9, verse 1 to 41. That's the account of the healing of the blind man. So I invite you now to, to click on pause for this video and read yourself this passage at home. And let's uh, comment it and meditate on it together afterwards. So I hope uh, you could find your Bible in your home and read this passage from John chapter 9, verse 1 to 41. I would like to share a very short meditation with you on this passage. 
So this is the story of Helen. And uh, so we witness here Jesus healing someone. We are grateful for God to having sent us his son, Jesus Christ, so that everyone with him can get everlasting life. And this is the case for this blind man who recovers the sight. And you see here, you witness Jesus healing someone. And we are called to do the same like Christ. We are called to heal others. We are not meant all to become doctors or nurses, um, all these precious jobs uh, that we know now are so precious for the society. But we can heal others in different ways. We can heal them through praying for them, thinking about them, um, and just even caring for them, um, helping different ways in the community where we stay and he's acting like Jesus shows us. So his will is that we do the same as him and participate in his work of healing the world. Amen. We can now take a time to pray for one another and Today, we will particularly pray for those who are vulnerable and weak in this community. We will pray for our neighbours, to all the people who are now self-isolating. We particularly pray for those who don't have families or friends or strong relationships to help them in this time. May they find good neighbors to help them. May they have the strength to, to call those who could meet them and help them. We pray for those who have uh, contracted the virus. May they recover quickly. May, may they not become spreader, but may they keep well and recover from this illness. We pray for all those who are isolated all the time. Keep all of them in your love. May they find in their way, in their journey, people to help them, to care for them, and to love them. And together we say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. The peace of God. Church of Scotland. Don't forget at 7 p.m. tonight to put a candle in your window, a candle that your neighbors can see and that means that you are praying for them. Now receive, receive the blessing from God. The God of love and peace will be with you. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit.
be with all of you now and forever.